All right, today we're going to work on uh, writing equations in standard form. Uh, most graphs are fairly easy to determine the equation in either intercept form or vertex form by simply finding the vertex or the intercepts in the graphs. But standard form, you can only tell the y-intercept, so you don't know what goes with x squared and what goes with x. So what we need to do is learn how to convert either intercept form or vertex form to standard form. So if we take this graph here, I can see that my intercepts are at negative 5 and negative 1. The question wants us to write this equation in intercept form. So that would give me x opposite of negative 5 is positive 5 times opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. Now you always want to make sure that you don't have a stretch or a shrink. So the way that you do that is you check your vertex. My vertex would be here. And I rise one and run one. And I get to the next point. So that would not have a stretch because you rise and run one. So that would be a factor of one. So what I want to do is I want to multiply to get rid of my parentheses. So I'm going to distribute the x plus 5 to the x plus 1. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to use the area model to do that because it's like working with a putting it square. So I'm going to take my first factor, x plus 5, and I'm going to put it over the first box on top and the second box on top. That's positive 5. And then I'm going to take my second one, my second factor, which is x plus 1, and I'm going to put it on the first box on the left side and the second box on the left side. That's positive 1. And what I want to do is I want to multiply to fill the boxes just like you would have put it square. So to get the first box here, I want to multiply x times x, and we know that's x squared. To get the second box here, I want to multiply the 5 above it and the x beside it, so that would give me 5 times x is 5x. To get the third box, I multiply the x above and the 1 beside, and that gives me 1x. And then to get the final box, I multiply the 5 times 1, and I get 5. So notice that I do have some like terms here, and our like terms are terms that are have the same letter with the same exponent. So my like terms are 1x and 5x. If I combine 1x and 5x, that gives me 6x. And I bring down my x squared, and I put it in front, put a plus sign between there and then bring down my 5 and put it behind, put a plus sign there. So my standard form is x squared plus 6x plus 5. My graph doesn't show that my, where my y-intercept is because it's above where the graph shows, but I can see that it's going in a positive direction, so it's more than likely correct. I could also put that into the uh, calculator and make a table put this standard form into the calculator, make a table, and make sure that my points coincide with the points on my graph. Here's another example. Again, it wants us to write the equation of this function in intercept form. So I look at my intercepts. My intercepts are 2 and 5. So my equation is going to be x, the opposite of 2 is negative 2, and the opposite of 5 is negative 5. I want to make sure that my graph is not, does not have a stretch or a shrink, so I go to my minimum point, and I rise in 1, rise 1, run 1, and I'm at another point on my graph, so I do not have a stretch or a shrink. So the first thing I want to do in order to write it in standard form is I want to distribute my x minus 2 to my x minus 5, and one of the easiest ways to do that is with the area model. So I'm going to take my first factor, x minus 2, and I'm going to put x on top of the first square and negative 2 on top of the second one. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my second factor, which is x minus 5. So I'm going to put x beside the first box and negative 5 beside the second box. Now a lot of people forget to put the negatives. Remember the 5 is telling me that those are the minus sign is telling me that that's negative. So I want to multiply to fill my box. So to get the first box, I'm going to multiply x times x and get x squared. To get the second box, I'm going to multiply negative 2 times x and get negative 2x. To multiply the third box, I'm going to multiply the x times a negative 5 and get negative 5x. And to get the final box, I'm going to multiply the negative 2 times a negative 5 and get positive 10. 
So to write my equation in standard form, I first of all need to combine my like terms, which in this case is negative 5x and negative 2x. If I add negative 5x and negative 2x, that gives me negative 7x. Bring down my x squared in front, so that reads to x squared minus 7x, and bring down my 10 in back, plus 10. Again, is it always a good idea to check and make sure your answer is correct? <coughs> because our graph doesn't show where our y-intercept is, it continues going upward. Positive 10 is probably a good estimate. But we could go to our calculator and make a table and make sure that the points in our table for x squared minus 7x plus 10 coincide with the points that are shown on this graph. Now this one's a little bit different. It wants us to write this equation of the function in vertex form. And the reason is because the x-intercepts here are hard to find because they're not nice and neat whole numbers. But the vertex is. My vertex is at negative 3, negative 2. So if I write my equation in vertex form, I only have one vertex, so I write one set of parentheses. So I'm going to say x and the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3 squared and then minus 2 is my y-coordinate so that would be my equation in vertex form now I want to use the area model to distribute and I'm trying to think what do I really need to distribute well x plus 3 squared is just another way of saying x plus 3 times x plus 3 because squared means that we have two of them and don't forget your minus 2 so I'm going to put x plus 3 on top and I'm going to put x plus 3 on the side and then I need to distribute and multiply with my area model so I'm going to say x times x is x squared and 3 times x is 3x and x times 3 is 3x and 3 times 3 is 9 so if I combine my like terms my like terms are 3x and 3x my equation is that gives me 6x bring down my x squared plus 6x plus 9 but remember I still have my minus 2 so I've got to include my minus 2. And I can combine those. So that would give me x squared plus 6x. And 9 minus 2 is positive 7. So my equation is x squared plus 6x plus 7. Again, my graph doesn't show where my y-intercept is. So I might want to make me a table to make sure that my standard form matches up with the graph that's... Uh, on the paper. Last example. Again, they want us to write this one in vertex form. Why do you think they want us to write this one in vertex form instead of intercept form? That's right. There are no x-intercepts. So I notice that my vertex is my minimum point, which would be 4 and 1. So my x-coordinate is 4 and my y-coordinate is 1. So if I write that in intercept uh, vertex form, I have one vertex, so I need one set of parentheses. So that's going to give me x, and the opposite of the x-coordinate is negative 4, and my y-coordinate is positive 1. Remember to check for a stretch or a shrink, so I go from my minimum point, and I rise 1, run 1, no stretch. So x minus 4 squared is the same thing as x minus 4 times x minus 4. And then don't forget your plus 1. So I need to distribute my x minus 4 to the x minus 4. So I'm going to put x over the first box, negative 4 over the second box. The same thing on the left, x by the first box, negative 4 by the second box. And I multiply to fill. So when I multiply, x times x is x squared. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x x times negative 4 is negative 4x and negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 
So the last thing I want to do is I want to combine my like terms. My like terms are negative 4x and negative 4x. That gives me negative 8x. Bring down my x squared in front and my positive 16 in back. And what I have to try not to forget is this plus 1 because I've left it out. Make sure you include that plus 1. And I can combine those. Those are like terms. So my answer in standard form is x squared minus 8x and 16 plus 1 is 17. And again, I can't see where my y-intercept is on this graph, but it looks like it possibly could be 17. So a good idea would be to go to your calculator and make a table and make sure that your points coincide with the points on this graph. This is what we're going to be working on tomorrow in class, so I hope you understood this.